Hi, I'm Norma Moore. I'm the Artistic Director of Stories on Stage. And I know that a lot of you have never seen actors reading short stories and you wonder, well, what's that about and why is it entertaining? We thought we would ask some of the actors who come to perform for us what it's like for them to read a story as opposed to acting in a play and what it is about what we do that makes them come from as far as New York and Los Angeles to spend an evening reading stories to audiences. Here's some of the things that they say. What I found really fun was getting to play a scene with myself, <laughs> you know, and being able to play Earl and play Zoe and kind of get to go back and forth uh, and trying to make those two characters really distinct because there are times where the, the dialogue just overlaps and without doing a dialect or anything, just so that you really knew who was talking. Um, and it's great to be able to talk directly to the audience because that's who, that's your scene partner, essentially. And you get to really kind of take in what they're giving to you and it can help you go further or you can kind of go, oh, okay, let's, let's make sure that this is clear. So it's kind of fun to play with the audience as your scene partner. You're out there by yourself. Um, all you're using is your voice, essentially, and your inflections and your understanding of the text, which, of course, is essential in any form of acting. Um, it's the basic relationship. It's what we call, you know, storytelling. And uh, it's, it started before theater did. You know, you think of Homer reciting um, the Iliad or the Odyssey or whoever it was who did those things. And um, <clears throat> you know, that was done before there was a theater. And a whole idea of a, a bardic relationship with um, an audience, people sitting around a, a campfire being told a story, um, is what I think about when I, when I do this sort of thing. And it's actually a great um, luxury, really. I, th I think of sometimes being in a play um, having to deal with costumes and the way one uh, makeup and all sorts of, uh, of things like that as the, the tyranny of appearance. And um, <clears throat> we don't have to worry so much about that when we're simply reading to people. And people do like to be read to, just like I read to my children. And, um, and uh, it's, it's a thing that allows people to to engage their own imaginations. They can create their sets, they can create the lights, they can create the costumes based on the information provided by the story.